One of the most common complaints I always hear about the building sets in Conan is about the windows. I mean, what are these? I mean, sure, they're great as window slits for castles, and some of the packs have had slightly better window options, especially Arcane, Stormglass, and Nemidian. For actual windows, mods have rectified this issue on PC, however, there is a way we can create our own windows with no mods whatsoever. Before we get into the requirements, I do have to say that I learned this method from Bard and Builds, who I have collabed with before. He makes some great builds, so if you haven't already, go check him out and let him know that I sent you his stuff is awesome. To create your own windows, you'll need to own the Riders of Hyboria DLC. I don't know if any other ways to create windows exist, but this method relies on the gates included in the Riders DLC and thus it is necessary. Aside from the Riders requirement, you can use any other material set to create the windows. That being said, I do find Nemidian works the absolute best, with Arena also being a good choice. Other options can work really well too, but I just personally prefer Nemidian. So on the mechanical side, windows work by manipulating the relationship between walls, fences and door frames to force fences or crenellated walls to sit in a place they are not meant to be able to sit. This is something that's very common with mods like less building placement restrictions, but I thought it was pretty much impossible in the vanilla game until I saw Barden do it. The mechanics and execution are pretty simple, but do bear in mind that sometimes it just doesn't want to work. I haven't been able to find out a reason why, I suspect it's something like when inverted sloping sides misbehave, and it's just one of those things you have to live with. So with that being said, let's learn how to actually do it. So there are two ways to build a window. The first is with crenellated walls, and the second is with fences. Firstly, let's learn the crenellated walls method. Firstly, we need to place a single tile stable gate frame where we want our window to go. Next, select a crenellated wall and place it onto the same tile. This works with any material, but it is the most pronounced on Nemidian. Next, grab a door frame and place it onto the same tile. This will delete the stable gate, but not the crenellated wall, keeping both in place and leaving a large window within. Finally, there's an optional step. You can leave these windows open as they should be just small enough that you can't walk through them accidentally, or you can place a door inside the window. I prefer to use the heavy reinforced door from the reinforced stone category or the similar one in the arena set, either works really nicely. This is my personal favourite window design, but indeed there is another one that you may like that serves well as a smaller window, especially for a market stall or something similar. So let's look at the second option with fences. Firstly, place a stable gate frame. Secondly, select a fence and place it inside the gate frame. Any style works here since most are flat, though Nemidian ends up looking a bit more like a balcony window as opposed to a market one. Finally, grab a door frame and place it onto the same tile, which will of course remove the gate frame but not the fence. With certain materials this is a great option for market style windows, or it just serves as a different design than the first for some others. You cannot place a door into this window as the fence will block it, but it is a very nice option to consider. So, to recap, the order goes stable gate, fence or crenellated wall, door frame, and then if you use the crenellated wall, an optional door. These windows are very easy to construct, but suit builds much better than the small arrow slits offered by most material packs. Thanks for watching, I've used this trick for a fair while now, though I haven't seen many other people use it. I know windows are always a point of criticism in Conan's materials, so hopefully this gives you guys some more options when you're building. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment or subscribe, any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, full size build blueprints, Discord roles and more. That being said, a massive thanks to all of our esteemed coffee cultists on screen now for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.